Hey guys, it's Alina here and today we are doing this makeup look using the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. So it will be a first impression, this is the first time I'm using this collection uh, and it is going to be a talk through video so it's going to be kind of longer and I'll be giving my thoughts as I'm using the products. So if you're interested in knowing how I got this look with the Game of Thrones collection, be sure to keep watching. So I have a bare face aside from my brows that I did very quickly. This is gonna be kind of a first impressions, kind of how I normally film my first impressions, but I'm also gonna be doing a makeup tutorial with it and give my opinion on the actual application of the product. A few things, if you guys hear kids yelling where I live now, there's a pool downstairs, so you might hear some of that pick up on the microphone. And also, we still haven't settled on chairs here in the office, so, we're on plastic chairs, so you might hear some squeaking. Let's just ignore that. All right, so it's been a while since I filmed a video like this, so hopefully it doesn't go too bad. <laughs> All right, so for starters, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I actually love the little deluxe sample sizes because it doesn't come with a little applicator, and it just does a little squeezy tube. I actually don't like the applicator. I love the product, don't like the applicator. Because I feel like not enough product gets on there. The product has a really nice consistency. And I do find that it makes a difference on my eyeshadow. Oh, I'm also having some issues with the autofocus on my camera. So if I tend to get out of focus or something like that, just bear with me. I'm not sure what's going on. We're kind of in the process of troubleshooting that. I'm hoping that I didn't kill this camera too. Some of you guys might remember that I killed my 70D after like just over a year. <laughs> and then I got this one. I got my 70D fixed and I kept it. So I have that as a backup, which is good. Oh, since we last spoke, I'm now addicted to Red Bull. Having two jobs for the longest time, it kind of like made that a necessity. We got this beautiful box. And I'm gonna try to use as many products as I can from the collection, but filling in any gaps just so I can get a complete look. I always like to set my um, eyeshadow primer with a matte neutral color. Just a cream, like basically the same as my skin color. I find that this, especially when you're gonna like jump into doing your makeup, I find that this gives a nice little base to blend your eyeshadows onto. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I find it to be very useful because if you have any part of your eyeshadow primer that's a little still tacky, your eyeshadow is going to stick to it. And if you're using like bright colors, it's going to look crazy. So I like to leave a, a nice little base. It also helps set the primer. I'm actually going in with the Urban Decay and Naked Reloaded palette. I'm using the shade Bribe. It's this first shade right here. And it's just like a, a cream color. And I take this all the way up to my brow bone because, you know, I just take it all the way up to my brow bone. I just do. It's a very neutral color. It's not going to look crazy. And it just kind of like makes the eye area look a little more flawless too. I have a goose down here. Like, I've got him lo loose even though he can't be trusted. I guarantee he like pees or poops or something at some point in this video. I swear that dog cannot be potty trained. I also hear some commotion outside of this room, which means that I gotta check on the dogs to see if they're not doing something crazy. Nah, it's just Abel. All right, so we have the Game of Thrones eyeshadow palette. It's pretty nice packaging. It's definitely not ideal as far as traveling and stuff like that, because it's kind of bulky, but it does have nice little features. And it does come with a mirror, which is really nice. So in this bottom drawer, you pull out the eyeshadow shades. I honestly do not know what my look is going to be, what my strategy is going to be. I tend to use a lot of matte shades. I used to use a lot of shimmery shades like all over in my crease and all that stuff, but I haven't done that in a long time. So this is going to be very interesting. And so here are all the shades. 
I don't know what my plan is. There's a lot of pretty colors in here. I don't know where I want to be. Okay, so from looking at this, it looks like these are like little five pan eyeshadow palettes. I'm assuming that these are the colors that are supposed to go together. I'm gonna try working with this top one here. I'm gonna take the shade White Walker. You know, it's a baby blue, not the ideal transition shade, but we're, do we're doing this. I'm just gonna put that loosely in my crease. I don't even know if anything's happening. Oh yeah, it's picking up color. So, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I started a new job. Doing social media full time. For a plastic surgeon. Which is really, really fun. It's really, really fun. I just love social media. Maybe, maybe. Could do like a Halo Eye. I haven't done one of those in ages. Here's the tricky part. The brushes that I would normally use for my eye looks are not really ideal for shimmery shades. I'm gonna have to try something different. So let's take the shade of Frozen North right here. Okay, so this one looks like I can tell that it's like a aqua -y, like teal type color, but it's definitely showing up super teal on me. But I am like pretty impressed with how well it's applying with a, just like a flat brush. I usually go in with these shimmer shades like with my finger. This is not bad. It's pretty good. I will say that this shade is the one that when I looked at the palette, I immediately was drawn to. So this is really hard to do with a flat brush. And I'm really glad that I stuck to my guns, which is my usual of always doing my eyeshadow first before I do my face makeup because I'm getting tons of fallout, which is pretty typical for shimmery shades, especially if you're using a brush rather than your finger. With your finger, I feel like the oils on your skin kind of like grip it a little better. So it's not as messy of an application. So you see I'm applying them outside. Leaving that middle space open. I was planning on blending. I might just keep it a little like more sharp. We'll see. I'll leave it like that for now. So now we're just repeating the same thing on the other side. Goose, what are you doing? Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm basically going above my crease because I kind of have a hooded eyes they're not super hooded, they're like semi hooded so if I don't go above the crease most of my eyeshadow disappears like as far as what you can see I think I'm gonna keep it kind of like harsh like that I think but yeah so sorry a new job and this plastic surgeon he specializes in I mean, obviously he's trained to do everything, but his like bread and butter is BBLs, so Brazilian butt lifts, which are like super in right now. A lot of people doing them. Don't worry, your girl's not gonna do it. I'm good. And you know, I don't have anything against plastic surgery or people that do it. I've just always been really afraid of going under anesthesia like that, just for fun, you know? The tricky part is getting these things even. I think I will blend it. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of more like block, like blocky graphic stuff. Doesn't necessarily look good on me. I'm gonna blend it with. I'm just gonna get a little crazy and go with this purple color here, Stormborn. Let's see what happens. Okay, so. These shimmers are very, very creamy. Not creamy, but it, they're like easy to blend. So I'll be impressed by that. I love that. So I'm just taking that purple shade and just kind of blending that harsh line with it. Gosh, I love that. I'm gonna take that white walker shade again. 
blend like the outer outer part. It's intense. So I'm gonna go back in and kind of dab more of the teal. Okay, normally for a halo eye, I like to use my NYX glitter primer to help make the color pop and stick better, but I'm going to go in just with the shade and my finger. That way you can get a true idea of kind of the color payoff. And now I gotta decide between Free Folk or Hard Home. Or even maybe Bend Me. So I'm going to take a baby wipe clean under my eyes, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back to finish up the eyes and then we'll go on to the rest of the video. So I finished up my face makeup and then what I did, I used the liner in the Night King on my lower lash line. I tight lined with it and then on the lower lash line I put the Frozen North and then I blended it with Bend the Knee. Oh, when I put the liner on, I smudged it with a like little eye, eye smudger. Oh, and then I put the Hard Home in my inner corner. I put that same shade under my brow bone. So, my dilemma. I swatched on my finger, like I swatched the two lightish highlight shades and that middle one for sure, too dark for my skin tone. This pink one, it doesn't ha seem to have a lot of enough oomph on it, but I'll try it out. Yeah, like, your girl, your girl wants more than that, for sure. And it's a very like pink tone not very um I wouldn't say it's a everyday makeup highlighter but neither is this eye look so I'm gonna apply that just to use the palette I mean I can see a little glow but I'm gonna try something else I'm gonna try lightly putting that hard home shade on top I think that gives it more. Yeah, I like that. I'm just gonna put a smidge of that hard home. And tip my nose. That hard home is a pretty, pretty shade. Ooh, for highlight. Mm -hmm. And then put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. Okay, so my next dilemma is lip shade. Oh. Let's set it with my Urban Decay All Nighter. You guys might have noticed that I haven't put mascara on. I always do my mascara after I set my face with my All Nighter, like once it's all dry, because I have really long lashes and I find that when I spray my face, it like just makes it smear even more. So I just set it and then I'll put my mascara once it's all dry. Like my makeup takes, it's like a process because I go back and forth, back and forth. It's a very weird method. Okay, so my dilemma is with the lip products because I find that they're all very like warm toned and don't necessarily go with this blue. When I saw this particular one, I was like, oh. I was like, please be like an icy bluish gray or something. And then it was like a dark blood red. So definitely not that one. This one's like a true red, it's way too 80s for me, like with this eye look. I guess this like more neutrally one might be an option, although I'm not crazy about it. There's also this one, Cersei. Let's try this one. It's not really like a nude color I would ever gravitate towards. It's too like peachy for me. I also decided not to use the cheek stain because I'm not a huge fan of cheek stains or really like liquidy blushes in general. This color looks terrible on me. 
we can we can all agree right don't like this color so we're gonna just <laughs> take this color off and I'll go pick out another urban decay lipstick mm -mm. no 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 that color is not for me so the options I pulled we got UVB we have asphyxia and time I think time might be the winner. I should never wear this shade. It almost looks like tealy. Maybe put some something on it. Woo! I like that. Oh, I love that. Woof. Okay, so I put the shade Hard Home on top. Probably should have even eaten a snack before I did this. All right, so I'm gonna put some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the final look. I really, really love how it turned out. I think it looks amazing. It's definitely not an everyday makeup look or even an everyday makeup collection, but it's really, really nice. If you do like Game of Thrones, it's probably a must have. Kind of like any of the limited edition like collaborations that Urban Decay has done. But yeah, I'll probably have to do a separate swatching video just because this video is already way too long. But just a general review, I would say if you're gonna pick and choose which items to get, I'd pass on the highlighting palette. I would get the eyeshadow palette. If you use a lot of pencil liners, the liners are amazing and they're really, really unique shades. The lipsticks, for the most part, unless you're a diehard Game of Thrones fan, I would not necessarily recommend them just because for me I like more cool tone lipsticks and they're definitely not that they're more warm toned if you're a warm toned lipstick person then get them I'll probably really love wearing just the, the, the true red shade just because I do like a good red lip and if you enjoy cheek stains kind of like the Benetint then you'll probably really really love this one it's just not not my cup of tea I probably should have used the brushes just to kind of let you guys know whether or not you should pick those up but I didn't because I don't know. But yeah, eyeshadow palette is a must-have whether you're a Game of Thrones fan or not. It's really, really beautiful. It's not a standalone palette. You guys know that for me, a standalone palette is one that you don't need to dip into other palettes to get a complete look. It was a challenge for me to not have such so many matte shades. And even from like setting my eyeshadow primer, I didn't have like a neutral matte shade to do that with. So that's probably one of the downsides but it's a beautiful shimmery palette to incorporate with a matte palette that you may already have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of first impressions tutorial type thing with the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. I'm purposely not making this video even longer than it is so that I can actually get a video up instead of filming and filming and filming and never editing, which you guys have no idea how many SD cards are full filled with videos that I just never got around to editing so I figure by splitting them up then maybe <laughs> maybe I'll do a better job yeah we'll try so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye